hello thanks for watching the video so as you can see this is what I call the director's cut what actually happened is I went on a ride I have my two cameras my normal helmet camera and the clutch camera down here it's actually a B camera but I call it the C camera C for clutch it's actually mounted on the passenger peg but you can see my clutch hand there and I always like this view kind of uh, low you can see the bike you can see a little bit of me you can see the road <clears throat> Um, but uh, for whatever reason, when I went to cut this video way back when, I couldn't find this footage. I couldn't find any of these chips. So I decided, well, I got to make the video. It's overdue and all that. And uh, I went ahead and made it, posted it, and I was into that. Then months later, guess what? I find the chip. I find the footage. So then I went to decide, should I or shouldn't I? I couldn't decide. Finally, I said, yeah, what the hell? I'll just go back and re-edit it. I'm making a director's cut with extra footage of this, um, uh, you know, C camera, clutch camera angle. I give you guys a little bit more, uh, di a different point of view, really, to uh, see the ride itself, as opposed to just the monotony of one camera. And this is something I've been doing since, you know, my first videos, so I, I kind of like to keep the thing going. Um, if you like this extra footage, you know, let me know, give a comment, leave a thumbs up or whatever, and uh, then I'll know that, you know, it's really helping. And uh, thanks again for tuning in. Stay sharp and stay up. Talk to you later. Bye. When you pass on ramps, make sure check them to make sure there's no one coming down right next to you. They're kind of sneaking up on you because they're coming over your shoulder. Watch this motorcycle, he's probably getting off, but make sure he doesn't try to swing out here. Yeah, he is. Sometimes motorcyclists don't even look. They drive their bikes like they drive their cars, which is not good. end up hitting each other you know he could have just said I'm gonna bike I think a lot of motorcyclists don't check their mirrors they, they kind of end up being like I'm gonna bike I can do whatever I'm going faster than everybody else and they don't realize there's another bike right next to them coming up on them let's do this diamond lane again if we can I didn't realize it was going to stop right there. Perfect. But remember, that's just a piece of... This is a stripe of paint on the ground. That's not a wall. That's not a fence. Even though they're not supposed to cross that double-double, even if they have people, enough people, even if it's a carpool, you're not supposed to cross over that double-double. This is the way I didn't do it before. But people do it all the time anyway. So just because that's the rules doesn't mean you're perfectly safe, you know, hug that corner, hug that edge. And, uh, you know, we're coming around here, these are all blind, everyone, it's a blind corner, see, unless you're right on top of them, they don't know you're even here, because it's a corner, the way the, the road's bending. They might decide, oh, here's a space behind this guy, and they start to pop out and right in front of me. Very, very possible. Very, very possible. Now here, you know, they can kind of see farther down the turn, so they can see me better. Um, when you come up on brake lights, start aiming for between cars. Always. Just in case you come in too hot, you might buy yourself an extra foot that you need instead of hitting something. I don't care where you drive a ride. I don't care if, you know, if it's in the United States and not in California. So technically you're not allowed to split. You're not splitting. You're trying to just stop instead of hitting the cars. 
you're not you're like splitting here and then continue going on. You're you're stopping. But if you do, if you come up too fast, you want to have a little space in between. Yeah, the space in between can save you. So start aiming immediately for it, even if you don't need it. Just start aiming for it, because you want to practice that maneuver. That's one of the best things about splitting. You practicing looking for slots to fit into, which is very important. And what is the bad thing about not allowing it is that people don't practice that because, you know, they're not allowed. They just never think about it. They're always looking at license plates. That's the worst thing you can target, right in the middle of the, of the vehicle in front of you. So you see, I'm, I'm going here. I'm splitting. Obviously, I'm going faster than everybody else, but I'm not trying to fly around here at uh, 50 just because, you know, this is a broom for it. I don't know who's going to decide to try to change lanes from one side or the other. And um, when they do change lanes, I at this speed, they're going so slow, they're not going to get out of your way. Like, in other words, if you see people changing lanes and we're all moving pretty quick, the, the lane change is fast because we're all going, let's pretend, 60 miles an hour. So the lane change happens at 60 miles an hour. When, when these guys are stopped, or they're doing like three, <laughs> You know, three miles an hour is very slow. That's like walking speed. So they, they just barely get halfway across the line. And then they, they get blocked because the other lane stopped. Or they, you know, are still getting across, but it's so slow. And you come flying along here at 40. There's a good chance you're not going to be able to stop in time. And when now you are boxed in. Now you really have nowhere to go. Because you're in this little canyon. Where, where, if that guy pulls out, where am I supposed to turn to avoid hitting him? If I'm doing 40, you know, or 30, and they're doing, you know, 5. So, you need to give yourself an exit. And not, and, and definitely don't assume, just because I want to do this thing, everyone is going to get out of my way or stay out of my way. That's a terrible presumption. And the only thing that's going to happen fast is your day is going to suck. And you might get away with it one week, two weeks. You might get away with it for five years. But driving like that, eventually, the, the odds will catch up with you because there's so many bad drivers. <laughs> you, you're not going to be lucky forever unless you don't drive in a big city. Then maybe, you know, you, there's not that many people around. Actually, the truck behind me just shifted lanes. So they were probably thinking about it as I went by. Don't drive next to people. That's a bad idea. This is good. We're, we're not near anyone's doors. For a second here, I'm going to have to buy it and go by this giant bus, of course. Let's see how that works out. Oh, now this side's moving along. That'll help out. There we go. See, it worked out. Now, this diamond lane ends soon. So some of these people might be thinking, I don't have to wait, you know, honor those stripes anymore. See, there it is. Um, now I, it's free for all. Everyone can do anything they want. And we're at the same time we're merging with another freeway, the five. Though the five is dumping onto here. We're not merging with it. It's their their off ramp is getting onto this freeway. If you're going slow. Uh, a, a slight wave like this is not a bad idea just to keep people attention on you when you're when, when they're trying to merge they're looking over here they're looking for over there they're not sure if you're using the whole lane maybe they want to try to share it with you well you do something like this and they kind of realize oh yeah he's there or she's there could be she you want it to look like I'm here and don't don't try to cut in front of me around me don't get near me don't you know move into my lane you want to be, you want to occupy this, the lane. It looks like it might rain. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> 30 minutes from home. And the rain wasn't the plan. And keep your eye out for guys like this. Now, I wouldn't say he was doing bad. I mean, I came into the lane the same time he did. There's, there's nothing, you know, he, he's going to do his thing too. And he can't look 24, you know, 360 all the time. So it's your job to pay attention 
when someone's doing something stupid, obviously you're watching out. But even if they're doing something normal, it just happens to be kind of close to you. That's not the end of the world. There's no reason to get mad or you know, rev your engine or whatever. Although I think revving your engine is kind of dumb. I don't know why people do that. They think that anyone gives a fuck about your engine. You know, use your horn. That's what it's for. And get a loud horn, first of all. Mine came with this sad little wheezy thing that sounded like a goat that died three days ago. The ground's wet. I mean, it did rain here. Maybe it just stopped. Hopefully, I missed it. Well, except for my gloves, I'm wearing some sort of rainish gear. Hopefully, that's uh, all I need. Shadow. <laughs> I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. I was in an accident myself. Motherfucker! Don't get up on me like that!